Hey everybody, it's Robbie, 0626195, here from more Earthbound. In the last part, we took on Shroom, defeated him, and got to the Rainy Circle. And in this part, since the Sky Runner has been changed, reprogrammed, it can now take us to Summers! I got lost in the music there for a second. The uh, S Skyrunner theme is pretty darn awesome. I love how it just gets a running start there. It's like, and here we go. Up into the sky. See, it's kind of like a UFO, but it's not because it's identified as the Skyrunner. So other people might not be able to find it, not define it, but we can. Oh, look, some boats. Where are we, perhaps? Is this the summers that we shall be receiving? I think it is. Uh oh. It looks like we are running into some troubles again. Boop, 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 boop. Uh oh. And. Poosh, good old boom. And it is broken. Once again. This one. This time it's not even like a good condition. It's. Just Terribly broken. Anyway, we have some enemies here in Summers. This is an overzealous cop. Kind of looks like Captain Strong. It's 325 HP. We partially weak to fire and freeze. Can grapple and use a submission hold, which does high level damage. Come out swinging, which does low level damage. Be on guard or lose temper, which does office offense up alpha. Anyway. Let's just go ahead and do our good old stuff. Do some freezing, do some shooting. This guy shouldn't be too tough, considering we solidified him and we just killed him. We have destroyed a police officer! We are such terrible people, hooray! Anyway, we have some, uh... We have some business to take care of here in Summers. Of course, with the new area, we have uh, the list to go through. Let's just go, go on around, talk to people, see what people are doing. The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. I wonder what he's saying. Wake up in the morning and fall in love, eat lunch, fall in love, and at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. <laughs> Seems like they're having a bit of troubles. Um, we, on our way in, we saw that there was a lady over here. She looks kind of like the zombie lady. She says, don't talk to me. My mind is a complete blank. Which, this is why people think she's in connection with the zombie lady, because uh, her mind has been wiped. But actually, she's more saying something of like a blonde. Like, could you please not talk to me? Because I'm not thinking about anything at all. Because there's nothing on her mind. Because, you know, she's a ditzy blonde. Are you from Eagle Land? If you like adventure, this isn't your kind of place. You should travel across the sea to Scrab... Scraba from Toto, the port town. Anyway, let's see what's going on. We got some really spectacular things. What would you like? Ah, they are selling some stuff here. You really should eat here. No, thank you. I am good. do 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 Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius. If I do this myself, okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph! It allows me to the fondest of memories. Good old picture taken. Anybody know it knows when you ever go on vacation on the beach, you gotta get your picture taken by the photography guy. This guy doing sunbathing. Only a tanning pro like me is able to get an actual suntan on the palms of his hands. Haha, <laughs> so he is holding his hand upright and getting a, getting a tan on his hands. It's pretty funny. Anyone else that is popular? No, it looks like we reached the end of the end of the beach. You know, let's go visit the let's go visit the hotel and just see how ritzy this place is. See how much it costs to sleep. There's a hospital without the Red Cross. Another nice day. Summers always has sunny days. There's the hit guy in case you need him. There's a cultural museum. Hieroglyph exhibition currently under reconstruction. It sounds like they're having some issues. What do you do today? If you're bored, go check out the cultural museum. It may be helpful to you. They have hieroglyph from a pyramid. It's a little bit of a hint as to what we need to do next. But not actually quite next. What do you have to say, bird? 
It's a bird. Wake him in the morning, fall in love. You know that. <laughs> My dream life. He's just repeating what that guy had to say. Have a fantastic vacation. At least until you run out of money. Hotel do summers. Yep, summers is all about the clash. Cash. There's Club Stoic. There's the shop. Let's just go see into the shop and see what they have to offer. Oh, hello? How annoying. Why are you wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. There's a big monster living in the sea between here and Scaraba. I've seen a picture of it. What do you have to sell, sir? Hi, welcome to my store. What do you need? Uh, so you're going to buy something, eh? So we got a everything here is really expensive, as you can see. It's like thousand of dollars. This lucky coin is pretty good, but it's really expensive. Platinum band is good for them. The diamond band is pretty good, except... Look at these prices! Holy cow! It's so darn expensive. I would not... This isn't for looky Lou's. If you're not buying, get out! Sorry, I don't have that kind of money. I mean, I do, but it's in the ATM. I don't really feel like getting it out. I'm actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. So I become a, a porter so I can get tips from all the old folks? Porter? You gonna start cleaning? Hey, hey! Stop putting your grimy fingerprints all over my car, you little punk. There's a restaurant. Oh, I forgot how far the hotel was down the beat. Holy crap. Let's get a butterfly so we can get some of that PP back. Yeah, Ness and his friends relax. Relax. Sky's blue, the sun's high, the prices here are so high, it'll make your face turn blue. That's Summers. And, nope, no one in that taxi. Lotel to Summer. $150 per night for a single room. That is kind of expensive. And also, whenever you go on vacation, you have to take a picture at your hotel and be all cheesy like. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photograph machine. I'm gonna see myself. Okay, ready, ready to memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It always brings the funnest of memories. Hooray! Anyway, let's just go into the hotel, see what's going on. This hotel is so exp uh, so ritzy that they have a payphone in here. They don't even have a normal phone. Holy cow. Thank you again, Poke. Ah, uh, Mr. Ness. Oh. Oh, he's he almost said Pokey. He's Pokey's ahead of us. Welcome to Lotel de Summers. My name is Risho Riso Sha Richmond. Which Japanese version, his name was Riso Cha Richmond, which Riso Cha stands for Resort Charter, which uh, Japanese Airlines was doing a thing of at the same time that this game was released. I'm the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid we do not have any reservation in your name. However, we can offer you a room at $450 a night. Would you like to be interested in a room? No, thank you. I don't even have that much money on hand. Please keep us in mind next time you're on holiday. <laughs> holiday. Let's see what this lady is. Excuse me. Yeah, she says, excuse me, uh, but it's a, it's a little odd she just says that, but in the Japanese version, she actually says, excuse me, pronounced in English. I heard the security garden, uh, the culture museum, isn't very nice, but it can be helpful. Ah, oh, I see. A lot of people are talking about this culture museum. Maybe you want to take a stop by there. Some paintings. So this is a very fancy hotel. It's got multiple floors and everything. Don't get too excited about this town. It's a tourist trap. Everyone seems to be nice, but they're just doing it for the money. No from experience. Yeah, you seem to be uh, down on the times there, sir. Can't believe you pronounce hotel as hotel. In this country, hotel is pronounced hotel. What? So then in your country, is, hot is otter pronounced as hotter? <laughs> Ow, should I know these things? That's a joke that actually remained the same in the uh, from this version and the Japanese version, because uh, they used the word uh, Hotaru and Otaru, which Hotaru is firefly and Otaru is a city. Let's just see if there's anything else going on here. Uh, no, it does not look like it. There's a nice balcony view though. Look at that. That's pretty nice. You get to look at the beach and everything. Actually. There's that lady, that lady that we talked to earlier. Ah, the hotel music, so fun. I like it. This lady that we um, that we talked to heard the security guard isn't very nice, but he can be helpful. In the Japanese version, he says, "I hear he's not a very nice guy, but he's supposedly an easy man to manipulate or exploit." Yeah, that's a little bit of a difference there. 
Let's go check out the restaurant and see what's going on there. Let's just go ahead and uh, explore all the places that there are to explore in Summers, because whenever you're on a tour, tourism just have to check out everything that there is to do in town. Even the not-so-glamorous stuff. Alright, restaurant. Ooh. Go in. What do you have to say? So where's your mom and dad? You mean you kids came here all by yourselves? Well, I can make your order to go. What can I get you? This guy just sells a bunch of stuff. Pretty expensive stuff, but just himself. Here's see, here's see you again. I'll have the braised boa over minced baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. No. Um, let's see, Japanese version. He says a little bit different stuff. Yeah, in the Japanese version, he says something which roughly translates to brown wing snakes split down the middle and charbroiled, which is a little bit of an interesting retranslation. Whoop. Steak? Please, we do not have such trash on our menu. Steak? What? Usually, like, steak is something that's pretty fancy to be sold at, like, a restaurant, you would think. Huh. Weird. This guy's drinking. Wheat? Ooh, I'm sorry. You know, I can't get to sorry, but squeaking glass after glass of ice coffee is, well, burp. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, uh, Japanese version, uh, he just says, How do I put it? Having beer in the daytime is, like, truly... How do I put it? Because, you know, we had to remove, uh, references to alcohol. Because, can't have that. I have fake teeth, so I like soft foods, not like rocks or stones. They're too hard. You can't eat rocks or stones. That's silly. One more person that we... Hey! Hey! Every time you go on vacation, and you go to a fancy restaurant nowadays, you gotta take a picture of your f He's standing on the table! And I'm a photograph change if you do it yourself, I'll get you ready for instance. Remember, look at the camera, ready, say, fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph, it always brings the fondest of memories. Yeah, you gotta take pictures of your food now, and share that stuff to Instagram, and then complain that it take your food is cold because you took too long taking pictures. I like the atmosphere in this restaurant, they have good food too. I mean, I would hope. Like, food is a pretty good thing to have in a restaurant. Hey, talking to people at another table in a restaurant is like breaking into their room and checking their drawers for valuables. Yeah, other people on important adventures do such things. What you have to admit is bizarre. Yeah, that's kind of a reference to the, uh, the RPG sort of, um, sort of... Uh, what do I... Trope. RPG trope, where you just talk to everybody. In the Japanese version, he says something more like, talking to all the other customers in a restaurant is like, busting into a newlyweds room unannounced, looking through their drawers for a small medal or something. Though I guess, in the, in the situation, it can't be helped. <laughs> yeah. Anyway... Let's go back outside, because, in fact, that guy that I talked to earlier about the porters is actually a surfer, but you can't surf at this beach. Should I become a porter so that I can get tips from all the old folks? Uh, in the Japanese version, he says he's already making a decision. He's like, I guess I'll carry luggage and get tips from old folks. Which I'm... I guess you get, I guess there is the type of porter that lugs, like, stuff around and not, like, a porter that just cleans stuff. Alrighty. Uh, other things of note, if I could uh, find him again, I think I I looked past him. I don't remember where he was. Let me go. Did I talk to you already? I wonder why such serious-looking kids uh, as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. I guess we are kind of prim and proper compared to everyone else here. See, I've always wanted to know why it always looks like Ness. Paula and Jeff from the side sprite are always, like, they're smiling, but they're not actually smiling. They've just got this serious, like, line on their face. Anyway, this guy, this guy, it says, it's a mania, uh, bird, which in the Japanese version, um, he actually says mania bird himself, because that is, that's how he works. Anyway... I guess we can go check out the museum now, see what's going on up in there. See, if you ever want to save or call anyone in uh, Summers, use the museum phone, because the museum phone is the only phone that I know of in Summers that isn't a pay phone. So if you want to avoid that one dollar, go ahead and use it here. Part of the Scarabook Culture Museum is being remodeled. Do you still want to enter? Yes, three dollars per person. Study hard. Thank you. Which is actually cheaper than the Foresight Museum, which is kind of surprising. 
Let's see what's going on here. Toten Carmen's casket. Toten Carmen's pencil box. Well, I saw a chubby kid about your age here. He looked like he was awfully wealthy. He was being extravagant. Toten Carmen's lunchbox. So apparently Pokey was here as well, trying to check out some stuff. Mumble, mumble, why would Mr. Spoon from the Foresight Museum try and call me? I bet he just wants to brag about something. Well, let him try. I wonder what he wants to tell me. Bah, I dared him try and upstage me. Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to myself. Cough. Ooh. Spooky. Played the spooky music, too. Oh, let's see. It's Ram Raisin's third cat. The third's casket. Damn it. These people are too close to the uh, sign for me to be able to read it. Let me just... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Spooky. Let's see if I can actually read the sign now. Ram Raisin, the fourth's casket. Ram Raisin, the fifth's training pot. Ha! <laughs> That's funny. The Japanese version, uh, it's actually, his name is Rum Raisin, which is a popular ice cream flavor. Anyway, let's see what this guy has to say. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. I can't. Well, I usually don't show this room. Once you're adulthood, you'll understand. I do, however, like jewelry. Perhaps a little, shall we say, under the table deal would be in order. So, in the Japanese version, he says, if you were an adult, you'd probably understand. Because it just makes a little bit more sense than uh, what he says in Earthbound in context versus other stuff. Anyway, that's all that there is to do here in the uh, museum. Next on our uh, stops list, we have the... Oh, yeah, museum is currently under reconstruction. Next up, we have the hospital. There's a few people in the hospital I want to talk to and see how they're doing. There's the healer. Um, I think the person in... Ooh, this hospital is a little bit differently shaped. You have to go up this way. I went back down the stairs because I was expecting to continue to go left. That's a hospital room. Where's the doctor at? Hello, doc. Nope, these are just hospital rooms. Is the doctor behind the, uh, the receptionist? I guess that would make sense. Oh man, I like the hospital music. I know, hospital. I am understanding about the hospitals. You back here? Yeah, there you are. My cousin is a nurse in Tucson. She's not good at admire administering shots. The one she gave me was painful. In the Japanese version, she says something a little bit more broad, as in, like, she's terrible at giving shots and they always hurt. And not, like, specifically saying that she gave one to her, and it hurt. Which is just a little bit more nitpicking. Alright, continuing on our tourism sort of escapade to summer. How appropriate this is. We're in a tourist town, and we're just touring around here. There's graffiti on the board. The handwriting's hard to read. Ness can eat my shorts for a neighbor. He's a loser. Jeez, Pokey's starting to sound more like Gary. Jeez. Uh, in Mother 2, he says, Bonjour, Ness. By the time you read this, I'll already be... <laughs> anyway, let's talk to this guy here. East of here is the port town of Toto. No, no, I'm not a billboard. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. He talks like a billboard. It's pretty... F funny. Anyway. There's some... Spooky little thing there. That's interesting. What's this guy have to say? You go to Scarab, but you need to cross the sea. However, oh, a monster named the Kra uh, named Kraken lives in the open sea. He attacks ships that pass through. Are you scared? Eh, not really. I've dealt with bigger, more badder things. Across the sea, there's a town called Scarab. It's a mysterious town. It might. It's my dream town. I see. Your dream town, you say? What do you have to say, cat? Psst, psst. Looks like there's a shop over here. This looks like the more, like, rustic part of town. If you begin to scare but you ought to shop here. Things are expensive down there, so what are you looking for? What would you like, then? Uh, this guy just sells a bit of lesser sort of items. Do not need anything else. I am good, sir. <sighs> Let's see. Who else is here? Anyone in here? Hello. I'm a grave robber. I was scared of the pyramid in Scarab, so I didn't go in. But I tell people that I saw mummy-type monsters with my very own eyes. Mummies, you say? Ooh, that's spooky. Maybe we'll encounter these mummies eventually. Hello. 
You know the Stoic Club in Summers? You need to call a secret number for reservation if you want to get in. What? Eh, I'll give you the secret number. I warn you, though, it's a strange place. It seems we have a number now for the Stoic Club. Whoop! Getting a phone call. Hello, Jeff? Oh, happy day! I finally got a hold of you! Oh, Jeff! Hi, it's me, Tony! Collecting players' names for a school project. You know players just like you! That's right, you, the one holding the controller! Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong! Hey, we get to listen to the name song again. Cool! Alright. We get to register our name here. We have a lot of slots, so... We guess we can go ahead and spell out the entire username. R O B B I E. Also, while I'm doing this, I guess I can point out in the Japanese version this uh, this name entering thing was actually in English because in this game you actually enter your name twice. And in the Japanese version, you do it once in English, once in Japanese. But in this game, it's just like, hey, you're doing it again in English. Good times. All right, my name is Robbie O six two six one nine five. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Okay. Good. Thanks, game player. Thank you very much. Is this correct? It is correct. Okay. Okay. Apologize for any trouble this may have caused you. Don't put my friend Jeff in any dangerous situations. Okay? I worry about him. I really do. Well, I'll talk to you later, Jeff. Hope that I can see you again when you're feeling up to it. From T O N Y. You got that? Well, I've been on the phone too long. Gotta go. Good luck. Take care. So long. This time I'm really gonna hang up. Goodbye. Beep. Well, that was interesting. A call from Tony. Meow. Cats with strange faces. Would you like a boat ride? No, thank you. Okay, I understand. I'm extending a ship out. Don't worry about my wife. I'm not afraid of the Kraken. My wife's totally ignoring her magic cake business. These days, she spends her time hanging out at a strange club. We no longer have any mutual interests to discuss. Is our relationship over? <sighs> Man, that guy's having some relationship troubles. I don't go out to sea because of that Kraken. I mean, for any normal person, would feel the same way. I mean, I suppose so. We're almost done here in the town. I guess we'll make this, uh... I don't know how long this video is going to be because I'm going to have to cut out all the points where I'm just reading the, uh... the notes that I've taken down. There's a dude in here. If you come any closer, I'll play the trumpet! Which, in the Japanese version, he says something more as, like, Come any closer and I'll play! <laughs> like he's trying to threaten you. Uh, I don't know how to play yet. <laughs> Bow. Not brown cow? <laughs> in Japanese version, he, uh, he's doing a bit of more wordplay. So... They're trying to trying to stay true to the sort of wordplay sort of thing. Also, from the Tony speech earlier, he says, "I hope you can I can see you again when you're feeling up to it." And the Japanese version says, "I pray from the bottom of my heart I'll get to see you again." Ah, yes. All right. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. It had to be out of the underground when it dried out. Of course, it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Yeah, see, Japanese version, he says something more like, Dinosaurs do exist! I saw one, I swear! Excuse me, jeez, got a burp there. Anyway, that seems like a good enough place as any to stop recording here. Got to uh, Summers, and we talked to some people. We explored the town a bit, seeing what is up with what not. And so I'm going to take my own advice by going to the Cultural Museum, and I'm going to save the game. And in the next part, we will see what is going on with the going-ons. Also, you can see now we have this number for this Stoic Club. Maybe we'll give them a call next time. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.